I'm Latina, and I, you know what? I have stopped. I had to stop dating Latin men. I did because I can only handle one guy calling me mommy all day, and then. Yeah, and then I dated this Asian guy, and I can't date him anymore. He was so clingy. Seriously, I called him my Lee Presson. <laughs> and then, oh wait, and uh, <laughs> and then my last boyfriend was black, and he actually ended up breaking up with me um, because uh, I didn't have enough kids, and. <laughs> <laughs> my problem is <laughs> but I did go out on a date with this guy who wore the most amazing cologne ladies have you smelled that 401k <laughs> that's my favorite it smells rich a little squirt of dental hi <laughs> oh. and I get these headaches from all these problems I have you know so I went to the store to buy my favorite headache medicine and what I've noticed is that they're making the brands more specific by adding an adjective to them. Like they have like this headache medicine that's PM, extra strength. Now there's tension headache medicine. So what I'm thinking is if they're gonna be specific, then I think they should go all the way, right? Like I wanna go to the store and buy a bottle of headache med medicine that says, I can't pay my rent. <laughs> headache medicine, right? Or like it's 9 a.m., I'm still drunk. <laughs> yeah, specific, like, who's my baby's daddy? <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> Even feminine products should be more specific. Like, I want to buy a box of tampon that says, damn it, every time I go on vacation, tampon, right, ladies? <gasps> or here's one for the guys. Why does she always make me buy this box for her? Or how about a, bot a big old thing of, uh, hallelujah, I got my freaking period! Yeah! <laughs> I got it this month, woohoo! And that would come in the biggest box and you'd cut it open and confetti and midgets would pop out. <laughs>